Welcome to ReadTheTicket.com. Today we're going to demonstrate the Richard Wyckoff Price Action Roadmap. These are the references for the material you're about to see. The books are listed within ReadTheTicket.com education page. This is the the um, pattern that represents the forest. Below we have a cause pattern of accumulation, price is marked up, then we have another cause pattern which is made of distribution and then price is marked down. Richard Wyckoff um, pattern formation can be seen in detail at the top of distribution. It has a markup into it. You have a buying climate buying climax. You end up with an automatic move, some tests and up thrusts, sign of weaknesses, and then a breakdown and a test of the breakdown and you move down. But the most important thing to notice here is that the uh, pattern forms a range of an upper and lower range. Similar for a pattern of accumulation, we have a breakdown or a markdown, a selling climax, automatic move, some tests, sign of strength, and a spring, or um, then a markup, a breakout, and a test of the breakout. Once again, most important thing to identify here is that the price actually, all this action happens within a range of support and resistance. Okay, this is the um, Com combined Wyckoff roadmap made up of the distribution and accumulation pattern you've seen together. Now the dotted lines are the range and in between the range you get a um, multiple effects of what actually could happen. You get uh, price rallying, rallying and breaking out, test, breaking out, comes back to test and marks up. Or you can have a failure breakout where it falls back into the range. You can have price breakdown, come back to test the breakdown and continue on. Or the breakdown uh, fails and a price backs into the range. All the uh, descriptions on this pattern um, are well described on the website, readtheticket.com, and in the previous patterns displayed. There's only one aspect that needs further um, classification with or education is the, is the yellow box I've got here called cause determination. This is when price is either broken out, up or down, but has fallen back into the range. A little bit more on that. For example, here's um, a cause determination, which is a readerticket.com definition, is when price breaks out of the range. For example, here's a range here at the bottom. The S&P 500 breaks out. But the test of the breakout is very severe and it breaks deep into the range. Now, as you understand, uh, a cause and accumulation is here. A lot of stock float has changed hands. A lot of shares have changed hands. hands but the strong bulls have purchased the stock float and are expecting prices to go higher. So price breaks out. A test is there to confirm if there's any selling going on. Normally a test will stop at the um, support line, which is previous resistance, and continue on. But a severe test that falls right deep into the range can actually challenge the cause determination. For example, if it keeps on going, the whole pattern could reverse, and all the accumulation here would be uh, unwound with, um, you know, with covering. So that is actually a, a cause determination is very, uh, in other words, a very serious shakeout. It can be actually a, a massive power buy. For example, it breaks into the range. A lot of weak hands will be shaken out. So people who buy on the cause determination uh, when a price continues to break out is a very powerful buy signal or in the inverse sell signal. So here I've marked some very strong cause determinations uh, where the cause and the actual pattern has been challenged because we have a breakout and price falls back into the range, but yet it, continue, it breaks up further to continue the breakout. So the cause, it forms a sideways pattern, which includes accumulation and I or distribution, is challenged with a test of very severe consequences if it does not reverse and continue, uh, continue on. So at the moment, that, I would, that cause determination can result in a very powerful buy or a trend reversal if it continues on down. 
In some cases, it just goes down to, it falls back in the range and it goes down to the previous support level and just forms a wider range. But as it goes back into the middle, so just whenever you get a consolidation, find the middle of the consolidation and then when price falls back into that, um, you really want to see a reaction to show that the bulls are in charge. Okay, let's have a look at some examples of the Wyckoff price action roadmap. Here we have the S&P 500. Um, this is the, um, not the flash crash, this is when this America was um, graded down, I think. And here we had the buying climax, which was the Japanese um, earthquake. And an automatic move down. So when you have price moving up and selling, starts the first move, there's a designated automatic move. A, pr a move back up to the higher range. We have a, an up thrust, an up thrust, sorry. Uh, price failed to break out. Then we have the test of the up thrusts. Price falls back into the range. We have absorption at the lower level of support on the test. Price rallies back up, back to the upper range. We have an up thrust and another test of the up thrust. Here we have a, basically a massive failure where price is not rallying any further. So what's actually happening is you have a rally up and selling is coming into the um, game. So then we have a breakdown. We have a sideways cause and we have the effect. Here's another example. Um, this is when after the uh, ECB breakdown we have a, a very strong accumulation pattern. Sudden climax, tests, we actually have a spring here, and price actually broke out from the range. It came back and it did a very severe test back into the range. Now this is, a, at this point of time, uh, it was actually around January, so it was a very light volume, so that the um, price could be smashed back into the range without anybody really stopping it. So, But the point about it is, if it continued on, you'd have to um, question the validity validity of the cause and the accumulation. Because, but what you have to understand here, everyone's been buying here. You know, a lot of people on weekends selling uh, stock float and uh, who don't want to own the shares anymore are being purchased by those who do wish to own it. So the bulls are buying here, believing stocks going to go up into the future. We have a breakout, which is Mr. Market saying that you know the bulls are right; they're moving the market up. But now um, they expect a test to go to the up, upper range level, which is the support, which is previous resistance. But they don't really expect to fall back into the range because that's a challenge to the accumulation over here. As I said before, if it reverses back up, it's a power buy. This is a more benign test where it falls back and it just falls on to support and we have a breakout. Very critical time to cause determinations because obviously the bulls don't want it to go too far in. They want to see a buying action return. Once again, here's another one. At this particular time, we have a breakdown because it's a bit more severe. We have an A sort of breaks through, and then we have um, a test of the breakdown, but the breakdown reverses back into the range. It actually ends up being a result. Um, we have a resulting uh, false breakdown confirmed, so this breakdown was um, nullified. The cause determination happens in the middle of the range. You draw a little, if you draw a line through the middle of a, of a sideways pattern, normally the uh, cause determination happens around the middle of the range. It could be a 50% retracement or whatever. So long as the, when uh, price pulls back to the middle of the range and fails, that could have been a power sell, a power sale, but unfortunately it reversed here and it took off here, so the cause determination ended up resulting in a trend reversal of this breakdown, and it's obviously a trend continuation of the wider trend, and it continues on and breaks up. Um, one thing to note is that um, Mr. Market's always there to test the weak hands, it's trying to shake you out of your float, and part of this um, cause determination or breaking into the range where it broke out from is just to test uh, your resolve and holding on to the stock. But if you have a roadmap to understand what can happen, not every situation is easy. So the road, some roads are windy, twisty, twisty, and other, other roads are just a straight on highway, it's just too easy. So the road, the Wyckoff price action roadmap is to sort of cover what can be expected and how to make judgments along the way. For example, here's a standard breakout that uh, we'd all like to see. We have our sideways pattern cause, we have our breakout, we have our pullback to test the breakout finishes neatly on support, which is previous resistance, and continues on. 
And here we have it happen, it happen actually twice, impending third time. Um, this is a um, very nice presentation of uh, price climbing um, stairs. We have a step, 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 and all the pullbacks fall on support. Other situations where we get a straight breakout, but we don't really get a test because it's just an aggressive, perfect breakout that we always, always would want to catch, but it's um, not always um, evident. Thanks for watching.